also the next final and it's men's singles and the world number one the exciting talent from china the left hander lin dan up against the former champion back from injury the dane peter gader please now give a very warm welcome to the players from china lin dan is from Denmark, Peter Gada. It's only 20, yet he is already world number one. He is the top seed and comes to Birmingham straight from victory in last week's Swiss Open. He has not dropped a game on the way to the final. Peter Gada is one of the most popular players in world badminton and won this title in 1999. The 27-year-old former world number one has shown this week that he is getting back to his best form after the battling back from a career threatening knee injury. And this week's performance will give his world ranking of number 13 a further boost. To reach the final, he beat out Kiriat in yesterday's set in a rematch of their 1999 final. The pair have met three times with a score of 2 1 in Lindan's favour. So this men's singles final and the youngster from China, Lin Dan, the left-hander up against Peter Gaida of Denmark. Current world number one against the former world number one. And just looking at Lin Dan's route through to today's final. Well, he's played against three seeded players in the third round, the number nine seed, Eng Wei of Hong Kong. And then in the quarterfinal, the number 13 seed, Sonny Dwi Kunkoro of Indonesia. And then yesterday's semi-final, the number 14 seed, Ronald Susilo. But look at those results. Every single match in this tournament so far has been won in two straight games. Lin Dan is in tremendous form. So Peter Gaeta has had a much harder struggle through to the fight. In the third round, he played against the number three seed and the champion from two years ago, Chen Hong of China. He should have really won that match in two straight games. He was a game and 11-6 up, but it went the full distance and he came through in almost an hour and 20 minutes. And then in the quarterfinal, against the number 15 seed Muhammad Roslin Hashim another three game match and then in the semi yesterday the number 16 seed Taufik Hidayat of Indonesia that one much more convincing 15-9 15-9 nine, nine. so the umpire for this final Jan Moy of the Netherlands So what a welcome return to form for Peter Gaida, the 27-year-old former champion, of course, won the title back in 1999. A silver and a bronze medal from World Championships, Olympic semi-finalist, but lost the bronze medal playoff match to Xie Xuanzhe. And in fact, up until his semi-final victory, Yesterday, he hadn't reached a final since the Copenhagen Masters back in 2002.
so Lin Dan of China, the 20 year old born in Fujian. First year on the Grand Prix circuit was 2001, and in that first year, he reached two major championship finals the Danish Open and the Asian Badminton Championships. And then in 2002, progressed with his career when he won his first Grand Prix title, that was the Korean Open. And then last year, five finals on tour, winning three of them the Danish Open, the Hong Kong Open and the China Open. And of course, last week, he won the Swiss Open. Ladies so he is very much in form at the moment. This is the Young Soling Badminton Championships man single final between on my right, Lin Dan, China. And on my left, she's again at Denmark. Love all play. So Lin Dan appearing in his first ever All England final gets this match underway. And a good opening rally. And so far throughout the championships. Lin Dan has looked so impressive. He's been so sharp, so fast to the shuttle, so much in control of the rallies. Absolutely, Jill. Dictating his way through this tournament. His, his pace of shot is incredible. Moves the player around so fast. Very hard to play against. Peter Gator, a welcome return to form after the knee surgery Hello, to his Hello. right knee. Hello. And I did see earlier on in the competition, especially in the third round when Peter Gator played against Cheng Hong, who had won the title in 2002. Hello. He was probably looking sharper and better than I've seen him since of course that injury i mean he looked absolutely superb but we must remember that third round match took almost an hour and 20 minutes and then his quarter final did take an hour and 20 minutes and perhaps those long matches will take its toll for today's final yeah he's had a very tough route through yes in the semi-final against Taufik Hidiak played excellent read the game so well took control that was two sets he'll be very pleased with the way his confidence will be growing Bon, Danish coach behind the court. And this is what Peter's been doing so well throughout the championships. Onto that net so quickly, pushing at the body. Yeah. Oh, so it's me, it's landed in. Well, Lindan just apologises for the luck. The shuttle hitting the net cord. He was trying to lift the shuttle, it was deflected, but still landed in. Well, there's plenty of Danish support here at the National Indoor Arena. where Lindan is so good he's so quick to get behind the shuttle and bring it down
but that's a good return of serve. And perhaps slight hesitation in the movement at the moment from Lindan, and that's always a sign of nerves. Taking the shuttle early at the net, Peter Gaida. Excellent play from him then. He's looking for that all the, net all the time at the moment. I think that's going to be his game plan. Don't give the lift away, be more attacking. attack Darren it's not all the same pace they're demonstrating your point about varying it Three, one. the luck of the net cord. Yeah, well played from Peter though. What he's trying to do is get up there, keep Lindan guessing a little bit. So he can't anticipate his shots, holding him and then using the flicks. Li Yongbo on the right, the head coach to the Chinese team three times winner of the men's doubles event here at the All England Championships. Oh, it's One, four. Right onto the line. See Lindan at his best. Nice little drop. Look how quick he is round the head. And to bring it cross court is an incredible shot. realizes how quick his opponent is and he's desperately trying to hit the winner he knows that the only way his opponent won't get it back is if it hits the line and in trying to be so accurate that's why he's making mistakes from Peter there right out of position in the deep in the backhand corner of course these two men have met each other three times previously and it's Lindan that Four, holds the slight three. advantage having won two of their previous encounters and in fact the last time they played was just last week at the Swiss Open and on that occasion, Lin Dan won in two straight games, 17-15-15-4. So certainly the informed player with the psychological advantage. Lin Dan 
getting onto that, anything in his forehand so quickly. Peter Gaida outmaneuvering his opponent, playing to all four corners. And I guess, Darren, this really will turn out to be a tactical oh, battle please. because they both have such high skill levels. Yeah, absolutely, Jill. Also, the pace of the game at the moment is incredible. Very, very high tempo. Peter Gader looking towards the umpire thought that perhaps Lindau might have touched the net as he played the shot but I think in fact it was the shuttle that bounced off the tape just wide being very patient, looking for an opening. Darren, the tempo has dropped. There's a couple of sort of errors early on in the rally. Yeah, again, Peter trying to mix it up, plays a straight drop. Goes up for the cross, right idea. Lindan will be disappointed in that. He got the short lift onto his forehand, he was, saw the gap. Immediately looking at his racket, but I don't think he broke the strings. And Dan was 20 years of age. 
5-0. Born in Fujian. Well, he's misjudged a couple at the back there, Darren. Yes, he has, Joe. He's left the cut way early on in this game. He's got to, got to get there, get it back in the court. I think perhaps he changed his mind at the last moment. Yeah, he got there so early, really taking it very high. Five, Again, looked at his racket, see if his string had gone. Rally there from Gaida. Six, five. Yeah, very intelligent play from Peter. Set the lift up, knew the smash was coming, just blocked cross court off it, really making Lindan move the length of the court. Just long, a little almost trick shot, hold and flick from Peter Gaida. Certainly deceived Five, Lindan. Six. This very much Peter Gaida's trademark shot. It's almost a double action. Put a fraction along that back line. Yeah, positive return of serve from Peter. Five. Pushed at the body. Good reactions to get the next one over. 6-5 in this opening game. Well, I don't think he meant to leave that one. 7-5. Tried to play the shot, but in fact did land long of that back line. Oof. I think Lynn Dam was waiting for the drop before he'd even played it. Yeah, anticipated that one. Five, Look seven. how early it was. Peter, no chance to get the next shot. talking about earlier, Darren, lifting onto Lindan's forehand side. Yeah, needed to be a little bit higher, a little bit further back. That time the judgment was perfect. Yes, Peter, keeping it flat, keeping the net. At the moment, he's trying to get the lift, working very well for him. Five. Well, he dictated the pace throughout the rally. And the Dane. 
but he couldn't convert. Yeah, unfortunately, he'll be a little bit disappointed with that. Really controlled that rally. Service fault called. Service over. Service fault called. Ian Spear of Devon, the service judge for this match, calling that it was a double action. Yeah, I think that was a good call. Still trying to get the, the driving rallies going, take control. Right idea from him though. Oh. Yes, Smindan was backing off the net, was expecting a lift. Gator playing it back to the net. Eight, six. Eight. They're not Nine, frightened six. to take Lindan on at the net at the moment, getting the better of the exchanges. <laughs> With both of them so fast and so deceptive overhead. Ten. It, it really is developing into a battle of who can control the net. That's becoming the most important shot. Yeah, absolutely, Joe. As you say, fast pace. They're not giving an inch away. <laughs> Comfortable lead now for the Dane. 11-6 in this opening game. why they don't want to lift the shuttle yeah good spinning net shot from Lindan Peter had to lift that one because Lindan was so close to the net the court, but up he goes he's gone cross on two occasions fantastic straight smash there yes the deception created not just by the fact that he's played the cross court smashes before but you know, you've played against certainly Peter Gator, and you can't tell with these top players now. The overhead action is exactly the same for every shot, whether it's straight or cross or a clear or a drop. Yeah, you literally can't move to the minute they've hit it. Six, eleven. Just testing the new racket.
Green have been very pleased with that rally. Under a lot of pressure, great net shot from Lindan Peter somehow gets a good lift off it. Lindan making that error really, he'd be very disappointed. slices across court earlier on in the match and he missed on both occasions at that time it was perfect Thank you. 13 6 two points now from this opening game Inside the line. Six thirteen. Oh. Well, that is great play from Lindan. Yeah, great shot from Lindan. Good smash from Peter. Peter coming in very quickly, gets caught. 7 13. There's perhaps a tactic that Lindan should employ more, trying to lift again off the attacking smashes from his opponent. Yeah. Oh, right into the corner. Yeah, starting to find his length a little bit. He's missed a few out wide. That time it was wide. Yeah, just getting a little bit anxious now, Peter. Needs to compose himself again. Be a little bit more patient. He has been controlling the game. to retrieve the shuttle but his recovery speed to get back for the next shot easy opportunity there tries to do something a little too fancy and makes the error 13-9 play
Well, when that cross-court angled shot stays in, it is devastating. Yeah, much better for Peter, a lot more patient at the beginning of the rally. Didn't go for the shot too early on in it. Thank you. 14, game so now, game Nine. point to the day. champion, former world number one, Peter Gaeta of Denmark, secures the opening game. Great discipline, tactical awareness, and he's taken the opening game 15-9. So with the opening game secured, that was the reaction. 15-9, the scoreline, and certainly Jens Maibon was full of encouragement Second and game. more tactical advice during the 90-second timeout. Play. But still a lot of hard work to do in this final. Certainly before these finals started, you and I were chatting away about who we thought perhaps might win these finals, and, and you and I both agreed that perhaps if we were betting people, you'd have to put your money on the Chinese player. But this is an extraordinary performance by the day. Incredible at the moment, Jill. He's, he's really dominated play. Whoa. Biggest key areas of net. He's not giving the lift away. If he is lifting, it's a very flat flip. the start of this second game in very determined mood yeah he's got to make something happen he knows he needs to be more attacking Determined. No flashy little shots now, just simple stuff, keeping Peter Gator moving. Oh. Well, we knew he had power 
and accuracy overhead. Four long. Good start to the second game from Lindan, the current world number one. Play let, please. Peter Gator not ready. Play let. There seems to be not just more purpose in Dan's game, but certainly more speed of movement. Yeah, he's got to up the tempo. He knows that. He knows if he can make it harder, Peter Gade has had some tough, tough matches in this competition. Well, he's so fast to come forward, reading the drop shots. Six long. Yeah, pushing Peter deep into the backhand side. Very early on to it. Furthest length of the court. That's good from Peter. Showing his speed to the net. Low six. Nice push at the body of Lindan. Judgment shuttle landing just long of that back line. One, six. now trying to play more net just pushes that wide Slow drop, bring Lindan right the way forward to the net. Yeah, much better from Lindan. He didn't do that in the first game. This time he's looking for the return at the net. Well, Peter Gator is enjoying quite a large amount of success on his returns of serve. I just wonder, perhaps, Darren, whether Lynn Dan should be trying to vary Seven. his serve more. Yeah, he served about three or four into Peter's forehand. And Peter hitting clear winners from serve from it. Full good. good. Lindan for seven. Doesn't like the call. Oh, yes, on the line. Service 
is a fabulous smash straight down the line. Four, seven. Peter. Peter just having a little look at the umpire saying, did he move before our serve? Seven four. Gator will try a different serve. Had no joy from his last two low serves. Serve is over. Seven four. Interesting start of the rally. Lindan choosing to serve high and deep. Serve that time, a forehand serve. Five from Gaida. Looked as if he was going to serve high, but then serving low. Oh dear. Wasted opportunity. Lucky there. He stayed Nine, in for the drop shot, five. knew it was coming. Doesn't move out, goes, anticipates it, right shot. And Fultz did just hit it in the net. Got to keep his patience at this stage of the match. Turn five. Never got behind the shuttle. Play. Darren, he's been off balance as he's tried to play his winners. 
Yeah, you can see Lindan is pushing Peter a little bit quicker, using all the corners. Peter just becoming a little bit impatient there, not really on balance to hit that cross-court drop. full well, flow here five. at the moment having a purple patch controlling the last three or four rallies shot back. 13-5. Well, not surprising that the court needs to be mopped. This has right, been please. played at such a pace. And looks likely now, Darren, to go to a decider. Yes, I would think so. Lindan controlling 13, it now. Five. to retrieve the flick over his head charging back in court had to hurdle the advertising boards at the back what do you do in a situation like this Darren when you're so far down in the second game do you just almost let the game go and concentrate your efforts for the decider or do you try and fight back? I think Peter will give it a little go, see if he can get a few cheap points, a little run going. So early. 13. Lovely execution to win that point. Well, that is incredible. 
incredible play from Lindan. Such athletic, dynamic style, leaping in the air. 13 Thundering down the winning smash. But the damage had already been done, pulling his opponent out of position. Peter mixing it up there. Hit the previous rally, a hard smash that time, cutting down on the shuttle. 5 13. <laughs> Stephen Pedersen, the head coach. He's going to be having a quick word with Jens Meibach. They obviously believe this will go to a decider. Extra advice being passed on. Yeah, Lindan's confidence growing. 14, game point, 5. And every time the shuttle goes in the air, he's attacking now. And that's brought him a game point. Brilliant. Devastating form from the back of the court from Lindan. His whole speed of movement and speed of shot has increased from that opening game. And that's why he has come second back, game, taken the Lindon, second by the margin five. of 15-5. Five. And we will have a decider. Players will take a five-minute break to talk to their coaches. The Chinese coach is quite happy with that. And so they should be. Lin Dan showing some great form in that second game. The decider coming up next. rally of this deciding game. One long. And Darren, certainly the way that Lindan played that second game, really upped his pace. If he can keep that momentum going, you have to favour him. Yes, I think so, Jill. It's whether Peter will be able to stay with him. He is starting to get pulled and pushed about the court a lot more and a lot faster. That's yes, with a good spinning net shot from Peter Gator. Forcing the error. It really is 
a dilemma for Gaida. If he hits deep in court, well, this well. happens. Indan is able to hit such angles, and yet if he plays to the net, the Chinese world number one has been so fast coming in. What does he do? Yeah, it was difficult. He attacked a lot, that rally. Lindan just soaked it up. And this is the problem. Lindan will throw himself around the court in an effort to retrieve the shuttle. Too and therefore, Gaida feels that he has to play the perfect shot to actually win the point. Yeah, he's not making things easy at all for Peter. If he's going to have to win a point, he's going to have to put a lot of effort into it. Just wide. He's not giving himself any margin for error. No, he feels he has to play so tight to try and hit a winner, but at the moment he's just missing his lines. He can't afford to give Lindan a bigger lead. That time, it was perfect. Yeah, great jump smash from Peter. Low three. change there between the players Lindan saying to Peter Gaida One, don't three. indicate to the line judge or shout all he did was look play from Peter the serve went out, up he jumped good smash, very quick One, into the net, got to take his chances when they come now Peter saying no. Definitely a psychological battle going on between these two. Yeah, it's good from Peter. He's starting to move well again. A bit more confident with the shots, a little bit more purpose on them now. the short lift by the tight spinning net shot. Four, three. Lovely spin from Peter, getting the short lift.
so fast onto that shuttle, Lindan. Four, three. players. Peter doing everything he can to win that rally. Lindan just getting it back, getting it back. Three, four. commitment from both players the refusal to let the shuttle die their side of the court lost his touch and feel at the net as Peter Gaida. Yeah, them two grueling rallies seem to have just taken the sting out of Peter a little bit. And another error. A4, and it means that the world number one from China, 20-year-old Lin Dan, will change ends for the final time with the advantage became world number one just a couple of weeks ago did Lindan and it's interesting actually the first time that Peter Gaida became number one in the world was when he was 20 years of age as well eight four All good. Nine, 
Paul. Yes, plum on the line. Peter just not able to get himself up Ten. high enough. Four. Just lost that little bit of bounce in his legs. Yeah, so from that 3-4 deficit now, Lindan, 10-4 up. There are definite signs. There's not so much spring in the legs of the day. As the rallies are going on, he's starting to come a little bit desperate. Again, going for it. Only just missing that one, though. Wants to play on, so we play. 11 4. Well, the umpire being very firm with the players and saying, come on, you've got to continue to play. Well, you have to give enormous credit to Lynn Dan because since those early stages, he has just piled on the pressure, tightened up his game, and now seems to be hitting winners at will. There's another. No, sir. Look how quick he gets back round that head. Two tantalising points from the title. Now just the one. And from that three, four deficit, Peter Gader has not actually got the service, had a service himself since that point. And here we are, Lynn Dan on match point. Receiver Five, Jan Moy of the Netherlands, the umpire, faulting Lindan for moving before the serve was struck. Mm. Yeah. Still looking for it. Six. Nice interception there from the net.
well worked rally. And now the Dane playing with a lot more patience. Yeah, taking his chance at the net, looking for that tight spin, getting the short lift. Seven, fourteen. Committed to that net shot there. Over. Well, he's been so fast to loop round the head throughout the entirety of this match, Lindan. Once again, getting behind the shuttle well and immediately coming forward to the net. And it's a second championship point. This time he's got it. Lin Dan of China. All England champion for 2004. Three hard games to secure his victory. But he salutes the crowd, as does Peter Gaida. Bitter, bitter disappointment for the Dane. But in all honesty, Peter Gaida has made huge strides towards full recovery and confidence after his knee surgery. Lim Dan, well, he won the Swiss Open a week ago, has come here as the informed man, new world number one, and the new All England champion. Just confirming the score. 9-15, 15-5, 8 the margin of victory. And Lindan, I'm sure, already a star in World Badminton, but I'm sure many more great victories to come. So there, confirmation of the score. What a match it was. The arena party just getting ready for the presentation. To make the presentation to the men's singles finalists, we welcome Cayman Nagy, our managing director of Yonex UK Limited, accompanied by Bill Andrew, president of the Badminton Association of England. And we invite firstly Bill Andrew to make the commemorative medal presentation to the umpire, Jan Moy, and to the service judge, Ian Spear. singles runner-up from Denmark, Peter Gaida. Peter Gaida, champion five years ago, this time has to settle for second best. But when he reflects back on his performance this week, he will take a lot of confidence Peter and a lot of pride. The check from Kei for so long, struggling after the knee surgery, having to qualify for the major And the events. medal from Bill Andrew. And now, after this week's performance, his world ranking will shoot up, and I'm sure 
qualification and thoughts towards the Olympic Games will be next on his agenda. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2004 Yonex All England Men's Singles Champion from China, Lin Dan. Lin Dan. Well, he's played so well all week Linda until the final the haven't for dropped a game. He's been four seeded players now to take the title. The champion's medal from Bill Andrew. The medal presented and by the famous Andrew. trophy president of the Babington Association of England and he lifts the trophy aloft and a sporting gesture from Lynn Dan inviting we Peter Gaynor invite to do an up, of honor. up onto the rostrum but the photographs I'm sure all over the papers tomorrow of Lindan's marvellous performance today. Lindan, ladies and gentlemen. on the rostrum having done his lap of honour posing for the photographers just to remind you of course we have two more finals to come okay. women's singles next Linda and ladies and gentlemen doubles no women's doubles final of course and I'll tell you more about that a little later on but before we go on before the next final, ladies and gentlemen, next final, we have another special have presentation, presentation to make. of the Wyatt Trophy, in which is for the best English Wyatt performance throughout the tournament. The trophy in memory of her husband, Stuart Wyatt. Stuart was president of the Badminton Association of England for 20 years, and prior to that been closely associated with these championships. And it was agreed that the trophy would be awarded for the best English performance at the All England Championship. This year it's been decided that the award should go to Amir Gaffer for his win against number eight seed Bao Chun Lai. Amir of course the current national champion and England number one. Ladies and gentlemen, Amir Gaffer. The Stuart Wyatt Trophy presented every year for the best English performance throughout the championships and it's the new national singles champion 
Amir, Amir is receiving the trophy from the, the president trophy. of the Badminton Association of England. Of course, Bill he Andrew. had a wonderful victory in the second round against the former world junior champion and number eight seed here, Bao Chun Lai. One in three grueling games. Stuart Wyatt holder, Amir Gaffer. Well earned. Stuart Trophy Ladies and gentlemen, we move on Amir to the Gaffer. 2004 Women's Singles Final. Leading the officials onto court. Is that